This top bar hive has been made from locally grown redwood by Paul MacDonald in Ashburton in Devon. And you might be interested to see some of the features which include um, a ret retaining or restraining chain here to stop the lid blowing over, which is, uh, which is a useful feature. Um, the lid can actually be totally removed by removing the pins from these hinges, um, should you choose to do that. But in, under normal conditions, just lifting the hive lid is adequate. You may have noticed that already that these top bars in here are upside down. And the reason for that is we've just put a colony in here using um, a method that I've never used before which involved um, hot gluing um, bars from a quadratic hive directly onto the flat side of the top bar. And it's a method, as I say, I've never done it before, but it worked very smoothly. As you can see, um, the combs are have been built on these little top bars from the quadratic hive and we've simply hot glued these bars onto the big bars but of course because of the comb guide on this side we had to do it on the flat side so at some point um, you know next cycle once these combs have been um, used for as long as they're going to be used we might simply flip the bar over and use the other side of it with the comb guide. Uh, I'll take the next one out and you can see um, this is a frame from a quadratic hive full of sealed brood and covered in bees both sides and they're going to in their own time they're going to expand the comb either side of the frame uh, or in these cases either side of the, the existing little top bars and this colony will grow to full strength in the fullness of time. The floor in here, the floor material is composted wood chips and it's quite damp and this will help to retain the humidity in the hive. Um, the container in which the wood chips are placed is simply a wooden trough with a mesh floor but we've actually lined the mesh, mesh floor with um, weed suppressant material which is uh, an acrylic fibre material and that is to, to, we hope, help to retain the moisture in the floor. Um, the lid's hinged, it's slightly sloped as you can see. There's enough space in this roof for insulation which will be added very soon. Uh, here is a little catch to keep the lid down <coughs> in the event of strong winds. And you can see here that he's fitted it with landing boards. This isn't the entrance that's being used uh, at the moment. but the reason for the positioning of the landing board is so that a periscope entrance can be fitted um, should that be desired at a later date that will simply be fitted into the space and will sit onto the landing board. Um, what else can I say? The legs are made from oak, uh, the body of the hive, the roof um, and the bars themselves are all made from locally grown redwood as I said. Um, the main entrance, the, the, the entrance that's in use at the moment is over here, again with its own landing board. Uh, there's not much activity because it's getting towards dusk now and uh, the bees have only just been placed in this hive and they're just settling in, getting used to it. So a very nicely made hive, uh, should last a long time. The lid's been coated with a wax um, product which also contains, uh, I believe, a little bit of propolis uh, and some oil and optionally the rest of the hive could be done in this as well because it shows off the, uh, the, the, the grain in the wood nicely. There you go, nice top bar hive.